welcome to another ride along with goggles and um, finally got around to updating the uh, Montana Express skin for the FLX 359 work in progress but I've got the uh, all the extended hood skins are done I just got to do the uh, the uh, regular hood so the shorter one but it's going to be should be able to finish it, get it off for the video. I really hope so. Anyway, check the description if if it's there, it'll be done. Um, oh, I got to move that uh, script because that Chrome vent thingy is ruining it. So that's one thing I have to do on these ones, on the EXHD. Uh, Bart's trailer uh, is Great Dane with uh, work in progress skin on it too. I haven't painted the roof yet. I, I just slapped the sides on it and <laughs> I'm out of time. I got to get this video going. So we're in uh, Great Falls and we're heading to Grangeville and it's urgent and we really got to get a move on here because, uh, man, that looks like one of those, is that like an Eddie's parking? Oh boy, it's going to be tough if that's what it is. If it's got a 53 on here with the wheels far back and a big truck. Oh, well, let's go find out. I've heard good things about you, yes. but I was told that you roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. Got my seat set pretty far back. I like that for when you're heading down the road, but looking out the side, we see a gap here. <laughs> right behind the... Uh, C pillar of the truck. It's kind of annoying, but I love this truck. I just don't understand left. why more people don't have it. Turn left now. Turn left now. I guess, you know, some people just aren't into the classic trucks. Turn left now. Got the Z Mods 3406E in here, I believe. I can see, I'm pretty sure we got this profile set up right, but uh, yeah, we got the wheel cam, roof cam, chase cam, interior, all on the mouse, it's good, up to date profile. <laughs> all right, we gotta make tracks here. No lollygagging about today, 345 miles, urgent. And that once we get into Idaho, that's quite a road. And we still got a little work to do to get out of Great Falls here. Get ready to turn left. Yeah, remember Turn left now. it's uh, live stream day, <laughs> so check that out later. Thousand seven eighty six. I believe we have six hundred and sixty nine horsepower, so we got quite a bit of power here. Now we're going to need every bit of it when we get into Idaho. Keep to the right and then exit to the right. 
And of course, uh, Exit this right. fictitious company in Skinner uh, homed in uh, Keep to the right, great, and then turn right. Great Falls, and that's where we're leaving from today. Thanks to Recon, put a great turn right now. garage here. Montana Express Garage here in Great Falls, which is kind of neat. Get ready to turn left. Oh, speaking of which, we're going to take Montana 200. Turn left now. Recon. Recon's road here. Cool. Yeah, without it, this would have been a really long trip. We'll pass the uh, entrance or the road that will lead you into uh, Heart Butte and East Glacier, the recon sites. just it's Friday I'm trying to get this done before I have my lunch but I'm already into my lunch time so it's uh, just another one of those days and I want to get the uh, map mod tutorial out before Saturday as well so I got this skin probably the trailer skin the map mod tutorial among many other tutorials that are uh, not done at the moment quite a few requests uh, and I've mentioned that or I've been asked about the snowy moon tutorial by several people. Apparently, um, I can't remember who it was. Maybe Scott was somebody was mentioning that there is a tutorial out on how to do that from the creator of the mod. So I'm kind of thinking like I need to check out his video and see if I just need to put a link. And if there's anything I can add to that tutorial, it's a very simple thing. So if you are looking for a tutorial on that, uh, I may end up just trying to find a few seconds and find that thing. If not, you could probably just go snowy moon tutorial or snowy, you know, search on YouTube snowy moon. I don't know, but I've got so many things on my plate right now. It's crazy. And I want to actually do two map mod tutorials, or, uh, yeah, what I want to do. Uh, ooh, that was close. I want to do one with uh, my, you know, what I'm running typically myself, and then I could do one that um, has the sea to sea in mid America and all that stuff, mid Atlantic in it and I could do both of them. I don't really want to put them in one tutorial because that just makes a tutorial longer and somebody's not going to be interested in one and will be interested in the other. So I think that would just be two. So I got to get, I'll probably just be able to do the first one or the one with my typical map load order first. And then I'll get the other one going, but it's all a question of time. What kind of time do I have? Cause, uh, this morning I had to take one of my kids to a medical appointment. It was a scheduled thing, but Continue straight on. that cuts into your time I spend doing this stuff. Which is actually a good thing. It gets me the heck away from this, my little uh, dungeon here. Good to get out. We're going to pass this guy because we are in a rush. I 
There was a dotted line. Oh boy, a scale. Shoot. Get called in. That's going to be a bummer. That guy's probably going to sail right on by. <laughs> oh, we got the bypass. So our pass on the road Keep to the right. is a good thing. Go straight on. Exhaust pipes on this truck. Like it's, it looks so authentic. A lot of a lot of guys just have this bright chrome thing. And then the other thing that really bugs me with a lot of mods, mod trucks, is the the stack has a thick edge around it. But these are legitimately like uh, probably what they would be eighty thou wall or something. They're not, they're not 8 inch, I don't think. They're not that thick. 125, I think they're thinner than that. It'd be measured in a gauge. Uh, maybe... Continue straight on. Hmm. 18 gauge steel. Keep to the right. But when you see them, like, you know, a quarter inch thick, <laughs> if it was scale, it looks crazy. And then their bright, shiny chrome rim around it, it's just, I really love the, uh, and then the, you know, I've showed many times in videos, the fuel tanks on this truck are outstanding. The fuel filler caps are crazy good. Keep uh, to the right. And then, go straight on. Got the wiring to the fuel sending units is there. It's got so many good things. Like Continue little details. straight on. The gauges are cool, very authentic on the, on the dash. But the, uh, can't quite see it from here. With the welding around the fuel tanks is just amazing like aluminum fuel tanks and has like tank welding on those seams. It looks really good. The fuel tank straps are amazing. The lids, tank labels. Great looking truck. And, and, a, and a true classic. Bart's reefer is awfully nice too. And like I say, I just slapped this paint on it. I haven't painted any of the accessories. They're, they're all just getting a default amount of paint on them. And I just didn't have time to uh, do anything about it. And I don't know if I will before the weekend. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. What's gonna happen here? Uh, uh, yeah, they're letting us in. Yeah, the priority is get the truck skin out. And if I can, maybe before the live stream tomorrow, um, on Saturday, this is, this is Friday, you're going to see this Saturday morning. And before the live stream starts, I might be able to get the skin finished up and out on Steam. Oh shoot, we're gonna have one more scale to get at least one more scale in Montana yet. Right. And then exit to the right. 
I hope we don't get called into it because it's uh, one of those time Exit wasters right. where you got to cut across traffic and Got a busy intersection to go through to get back on the highway. Turn left now. that got a proper I guess well, I guess the other guys didn't have a left turn there that was interesting got, got the extended green for the left turn and the straight through all in one go what's the chances I could remember that that's there <laughs> probably not real good check and see if you can paint the mud flaps for this truck or trailer it would be nice to be able to include it with the uh, skin I don't know if you can I'll have Continue to check. Straight on. oh I bet you you know what I bet you there's a customer file I could peel it out of there I bet you I could just put it in the skin Jumping all about. Yeah, I think there's a way to do your own mud flaps uh, for this. I have to look in the customer file. I gotta show you. Oh man, that's the other thing I haven't done. Showing you guys how to do the customer file thing for Bart stuff and how to put Ruta mud flaps in your skin for your truck using peeling the thing out of the open daff and putting it in your skin. But I'm kind of really, really perturbed with the Ruta stuff right now because it's just not working. Since the update, I've done everything I can think of. Like a standalone mod folder with just the 389 in it. No other mods. Just that. And nope. 389 crashes. 362, and I select the trip computer, crashes. Don't get it. Something's really messed up. I've downloaded it like four or five times. Ugh, frustrating. Until that's resolved. Like, I mean, I want to badly do a new skin I got an idea for for the 362 can't do it 389 cash money got the skin started then the update came along now I can't use the truck Ugh. crashes on my other computer too like it's I just it's unfathomable And other people, oh, mine are all great. Updated them all. Everything works fine. So here comes that scale. It probably should be in the left lane because we got the wave around that last one. Let's see what happens here. We're just getting steamrolled by traffic here. Just get ready. Get him over here. 
Yeah, we gotta pull in. It's a bad thing to leave it too late. You get all that Continue traffic straight. coming by. I find it easier to get in the right lane after. Keep to the right, and then turn right. Oh boy, her estimation and opinion turn of right me now. is about to go down. Doing the bad boy scout thing. <laughs> Probably working out what she's going to say to me. Yeah, it should be nice if the, uh, see you cross the road there. Oh, that's a skin recon put in the game. It's my AI traffic pack trailer skin, but I gave it to him for his uh, static. But it ended up in the game. If you see a default truck without a Montana Express paint job, pull on it. It's you must have been a terrible boy scout. one of the ones Recon put Turn in. You must, have been a, you must have been a terrible boy scout. You must have been a terrible <laughs> boy scout. Really? You must have been oh a terrible my God. boy scout. Turn around as soon as you can. She has a speech impediment. That's not good. Poor thing. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have ever seen that movie, The Stepford Wives. Stepford Wives. It's an oldie. But when the bots <laughs> blow up. <laughs> It's pretty funny. <laughs> I just have an image of uh, this voice nav head starting to spin around and sparks start coming out. It's like in Austin Powers. With, I don't know which one it was. And then go straight on. Where the robot uh, girls uh, blow up. Bedazzles them so badly they blow up. Continue straight <laughs> <on>. <laughs> that dude had some serious mojo. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that was. What do you call it? Gold member? Smoking a pancake? Yeah, it'd be really nice if the AI skin trailer skins could be like one-sided skins like this, where as opposed to you have to make a two-sided skin. I'm happy with the way the skin's coming out on the truck. I got the uh, stripes on the cap going on those little uh, extension fairings. Just tickety-boo. Got a little bit of tan on top of them. The original skin before they changed the truck, I didn't have that. I had the orange right at the top of the uh, side fairing. But I got a little bit lower on this one. It looks a lot better. Oh, I didn't even put side skirts on this thing on the truck, I was in such a hurry. Oh boy. I like the uh, side blinker light on the uh, on the trailer. That's one of the optional ones. this one if we're going to get there on time. Hundred and twenty to go, but it's a wobbly hundred and twenty.
Good thing lemonade isn't uh, fragile. And this is, oh man, I love this road. I should like uh, coming down here with, uh, I think I've driven a B-double flat deck on this road more than any other trailer. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just the cargoes I get on it. I think I've had every, like the SCS, the, um, I don't know if they've all been in videos, maybe. The SCS and the Sertana have for sure. Then there's that other one that I got from, uh, oh, what's his name again? Oh boy, Brian Smots, was it? But this road is awesome. Should be in Idaho now. Oh, the other thing, uh, the tutorial, one of these days on the uh, Riva Tuner uh, statistics server that's giving me all that info up in the top left corner. I'll show you how to set that up. And you don't have to have all that stuff. Like, it doesn't put all that there, you choose it. So you're setting it up, you choose the lines you want to have information on. I got quite a bit going on there, but I'm trying to keep an eye on the temperatures of the CPU and the GPU. Uh, utilization and frame rates. I don't, I don't know if it bugs you guys being up there. I kind of just tune it out. Unless I'm looking at it, you know what I mean? Well, we're probably gonna have to be going the speed limit here pretty soon because these guys are law-abiding citizens here. Boy, what a pretty drive. Oh man, I gotta get a photo in here. Gotta get ready, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll get one right up here. Oh, I don't know, how about... Man, what a screenshot. <laughs> that's, that's just a real good opportunity right there. Did the weather change so since I went in and came back out? I don't know. Look at this thing. Wow, what a eye fall. Oh, not another scale. Get ready to turn left. Oh, good. This wasn't isn't terrible. You just go beyond a little bit and hang left and Exit the scale right here on the right. Guess you could go in it there too if you wanted. I don't think the lot there is real big though. It's easier to go straight through and come back around. Go straight through that uh, turn. Continue straight on. Okay, 37 miles to go. It's going to be a little twisty. the pod headlights on here, the round ones. I've been running the uh, rectangular a lot lately. The dual rectangular default headlights instead of these custom round ones, but I don't know. They kind of suit the paint job. They look good. Round ones with uh, visors on them. This is a part of the trip that could hurt us if we can't maintain our speed here. Oh, 
speed limit's down to 35, all right. It's a bummer when it's like, you know, it says 55 or 50 and you can't, can only get up to 40 because of the, either the corners of the grade and your <laughs> time's ticking away and you're, oh man, gotta get there. You get, uh, I used to call get there-itis. Yeah, get there itis can be dangerous, uh, especially when you get near the end of your trip. If you're starting to, uh oh, what happened there? Oh, it's doing it again. Yeah. Let's try. There we go. Jeez, all I wanted was 17th gear. Holy, oh, that's annoying. I really do need to book some time and see, take that other shift knob I got apart, see what's wrong with it, why the range doesn't work on it. It's a real one, it hasn't been converted yet. Buddy got it at a swap meet, but I gotta find out what's wrong with the, uh, with the range selector on it and go about it. I got, because these little micro switches you put in them are so small, like you get them in lots of five or 10. So I have extra switches. I could go ahead and start spending some time converting that one. All right, right off the main drag here. I wonder if I've ever even been to this location. I was thinking it's going to look like an Eddie's. Continue straight on. Where the heck is it? Yeah, we'll see when we get up there, I guess. Maybe it's the one where you drive around the back. Oh, I can't see the light. Oh, it's over there. I'm my center pillar. Boy, some nice artwork on the side of that building. Very cool. I'm always impressed, impressed by the people who can do that, those Get big murals. Right. Okay, what have we got turn here? Right now. Yeah, it's equivalent to an Eddie's. Oh boy. Don't be coming behind us here. Oh, there it is. Crikey, I'm relieved that we have arrived safely at our destination. Why don't you run in and see the shipper receiver while I regain my composure? We're gonna have to back up. Oh, and try blowing your horn before you back up. It's gonna be, oh, it's very tight to the building. We need to back up to be able to get into the, uh... Come on, dude. Oh, jeez, he's right in our way. Need to... Oh, no, we're gonna hit the building. Now why do you, now why do they pull up like that? It's so annoying. We're gonna just give them a little nudge here. We're gonna get up against them here. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna have to, I wonder, if, how are we gonna do this? So I was worried about this 53 with the wheels at the back getting it in here from a two-lane road. Um, what would happen here if we... Well, I guess in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's try it. How close can we get the trailer to the building without hitting it? I've never tried to hit like this before. I've always been in these uh, lots. I've always been able to get in on the initial attempt from the road. Oh boy, this is ugly. Looks like we might be able to do it without going over 90 degrees on the truck and trailer, though. Let's see. 
keep an eye on that. We're hitting 90 there. But we gotta get out of it. Get that truck on the other side. Hit the boxes. 4% damage. Are you crazy? Man. That was insane. How do you get 4% damage from hitting cardboard? Surprised that worked, though. Coming in like that. Oops. Pulled all the way out there for nothing. I did the wrong thing, but we might get it. Not lined up to the door too good. Let's let's do a better job here. See, I was gonna get your truck back on the right side to be able to maneuver it. So um, you have to get to to get the back end of the trailer over there. You got to get the front truck on that same side. And then we got to steer this way. And then we, if we had the truck still pointing over there, we wouldn't be able to do this. This little catch-up thing. It's kind of one thing you got to watch when you're going to finish going forward. And you're going to transition to backing up. You have to get the cab in the right orientation or else you're not going to have any luck. Get the, so you can get the tractor on the right side of the center line to get the results you want. So I'll try and put it in here straight over taking all this time. Straight-ish, how's that? <laughs> all right. Okay, wow, time to get this thing rendering, grab some lunch, get the video done, get the skin done, get a tutorial on maps done. I'm gonna live stream uh, Friday night. You Hopefully, if they luck, you're able to see it, but uh, that's gonna happen yet tonight too, so that kind of cuts into the production time of doing things. But anyway, beautiful truck. Love the paint job. It's just so different with the, uh, oh, just no straight lines except across the back of the cab. I kind of like that, that look, it's just different. Anyway, as always, appreciate you guys so much. Uh, thanks uh, again to all the patrons, it really means a lot to me. Oh, I forgot to show you guys something on the, on the trailer. I noticed these, uh, the fuel tanks for the, um, yeah, let's hop out here. The fuel tanks for the reefer. He's put these, um, what he calls them, bombs. We've got to go to this side of the truck. Oops. Rockets, rather, he calls them. Well, we got to get our poop in a group here. Get this thing around here. There we go. So you got these little nose cones and fins on them. And they can be in chrome or paint, so... I don't think I would usually put that on, but I put it on just to show you guys. So that's something I hadn't noticed before in Bart's trailer, so it must be a new thing. And then there's different side textures, and you can get it with a door up there and a door back here on this side. You have, I think, three different side textures. You have the one like Ruta's, you know, with the big panels, um, sort of the, instead of these ribs. And this is ribbed. This is like uh, Dom's trailer is ribbed like this. So you got this option, the one like Ruta's, and a smooth side, I think. I can't remember. Chrome, one or two doors. So, lots going on. Very cool. Anyway, uh, now I'm out of here. <laughs> Take care. Catch you on the next one. And bye for now.